today on the North American Journeyman, it's what we're all here for. The semifinal of the Central American Cup. Two legs. Let's go. <laughs> Here it is, Alahulenzi for Montagua from Honduras. Two legs today. We are on really good form. I guess I should show you what we've been up to. In the meantime, just crushing teams. We did drop a game here to Santos. Oh, we won the second leg, obviously. So this was 12 to 2 aggregate in the end. And then, yeah, Drew Santos, and then kind of struggled against bottom of the table, newly promoted Perez Zeladon. And then we just turned it into a 7-2 to two over Santa Ana, who's in third. We really took over after they had the sending off. And this was a fully rotated squad as well, because we're playing Montagua. We'll do home and away today. We, annoyingly, we have two games in between, so there's no time to rest, really. So hopefully we can... Put a good performance in. Uh, Saprisa beat Herediano 2-0 in their first leg. So, and we're carrying a bunch of yellows into this match, potentially. But all the boys are rested. We're ready to go. The only player who's not playing great is Solis. I'm, I'm sticking with Jones. He only gets to play in this competition, but he's solid. So we're going to play him. And let's see how it goes. This is what we're all here for. The Central American Cup. The second. Um, the second what? Requirement of the save, the second objective, that's probably a better word, the second objective of the save to win the Central American Cup. We're keeping an eye on a couple of their players because they got a, a really good center back, Honduran, and a good midfielder. And I did some shady work before the game. I put in low bids for them because they're both already kind of unhappy. They want to move to a bigger club. So eh, let's, let's unsettle them a little bit more. The wide pitch here at home. It's like a pretty full crowd, though. It's like they're on the counter here, though. With good tackle from Hall. Can we hang on to it? Good job from the boys maintaining possession there. I was looking a little bit hairy. That's a bad pass, though. Osmendi finishes it off. Who is that even to? To Martinez, the right back. I have on distribute to the fullbacks. And that's a ball that it's apparently distributing to the fullbacks, but it's a horrendous pass. Osmendi steps on it and finishes it off. <sighs> we drop Solis. We might. That was shocking. Well, let's see what we can do here. Jones takes it off of him. All right, distribute to the fullbacks. Apparently he doesn't know what that means. Here we go. Salazar through the middle, though. Let's see if we can get a goal back here. Should probably look at away goals after this game. Neves, Suarez. Beautiful finish from Suarez. And it's one all. Who needs a good goalkeeper when you score, you know, seven goals? Here we go. Let's get another one. Mario trying to work that cross in like he likes to do. Driving inside. Takes the shot. He's not a goal scorer, Mario. I'm not sure if he's even scored a goal yet this season. Here we go. Salazar. Good header from Salazar. Maintaining possession. Good take from Toch. Here we go. What can we do? Torres hasn't really been involved yet. He's still learning the position, so... 
He might be my first sub if it doesn't look like he's getting really involved too much. Here we go, Toch. Mario, can he get the good cross in? Salazar? Oof. I think he's scored one on his right foot yet this year. Tried to go far post. I don't mind the idea. Should have gone near post, probably. I mean, they've had some chances, but that's mostly just because we're struggling to build out of the back. Mostly Solis. I think I just like his name. Solis. It's a cool name. But he's got to play better. He's not really improving in training. Honestly, he's one of the worst in training as well. Says he's four and a half star potential. Here we go. Toch. Tayara should have done better. Maybe this is just a region of bad goalkeepers because there's a lot of goals that go off of the hands of the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. But we've turned it back around two to one at home. I will take it. That's a good shot from Tosh, actually. He could have picked either side. Goes far. Looks like their goalkeeper is their captain. Here we go. Let's just lay it on him. No more messing around here. We're here for this competition. Mario, good ball cross, falls to Torres, finishes it off. Jorge Torres, 14th of the year. Still learning the position, but just making it happen. I mean, we score so many goals. It's it's pretty wild. I mean, it's just a 4-2-3-1, but... You know, when you play in a region where some of the positions probably just... Here's Torres again. Can't finish it this time. In a region like Central America or the Caribbean where it's like you put a well-rounded team together. Also just the AI and FM. They just make questionable substitutions and questionable positional choices. Torres almost scores again. Where they'll just have a player who just does not deserve to be out in the field. Or they play guys in positions they shouldn't be playing in. And that's where you come in and just play a well-rounded team. Players that play in their best roles. Distribute to fullbacks, not directly to Montagua. Okay, good. There we go. Touch on a yellow, that means he'll probably miss the next game. Which is a bit annoying. Maybe he's not one of the players on the yellow, but I assume he probably is. Suarez, there it is, to touch, takes the shot, 4-1, to one, first half. There we go. Um, who is it? One of, so a coach, a national team coach has been coming in to watch us. And it's Conte has been coming in to watch. And I go, Conte? Who the heck is he watching? He's the coach of the United States. And he's coming to watch Toch play a couple times now. The USA job was available and I decided not to apply for it. Because the next one, the next two, I'm happy. Good job. Keep it up. Possession. Sure, whatever. The next two objectives, I don't know why I can't remember that word. After winning the Central American Cup, or the Champions Cup with a club outside of the U.S., Mexico, or Canada. So I think we're going to try and do that here. For sure. I mean, it makes sense, too. They're the best team outside of those three nations. And then to win a Gold Cup, so some national team management, outside of the U.S., Mexico, or Canada. So I didn't want to pick up the U.S. job and then go for, like, as fun as it is to try and win with them, considering they're the best team in the region. Salazar off the post. He was offside anyways. But yeah, I'd like to pick up Costa Rica or Jamaica job would be the top. Maybe Honduras if it became available. It's up in the air. Salazar takes it down. What's he going to do with it? Back to Hall. Neves takes a shot. 
mean, four one's good, but we got to go to Montagua, so. Actually, Salazar is not doing anything. He's complacent, too. Regiero has been playing pretty well. He's complacent as well. That's annoying. Um, I think Hall is actually on a yellow, too, so. Go make a difference. Still complacent. Annoying. But it's okay. Maybe we take Neves out? Since I think he's actually on a yellow. For Yara. Martinez for Yaya Lopez. We can make one more late sub. Probably one of the wingers. They're playing with more width. I guess we'll praise them. Get them a little more excited about playing this game here. I'd like to get a fifth. I'm just greedy. I'm so greedy. Okay, one of you two. Probably stick Mora in. It's Montenegro's probably going to play the next two games. With only a day off in between. But that start had me nervous with Solis. But we've done good to turn it back around. We're just scoring goals. Like mad. David, I ended up, I'm just playing him as a left back. I still have him training as a defensive midfielder. But we never go into that system, so he never gets any game time doing it. The tackle's there, but looks like Ult finds Pena. Had more time with it. Probably could have taken a touch and then slotted it home, but... We escape again from some iffy play out of the back. Mora's mad because I'm actually training him as a midfielder. Mora crosses in. Their goalkeeper thought he was maybe just going to miss that one. What, what does he have in his hair exactly? I don't know how well you can see that, the detail level, but the goalkeeper has like, it's like some highlights. Oh no. Pena's in again and misses it again. Okay, what are we doing here? We need to prevent these chances from coming in. I don't like the fact that they've had 17 shots this game. They do have some good players, so I guess we'll just do late praise again. Finish this one out. That's probably going to be it. 4 to 1. First leg. I mean, they're a pretty good little team. Is that their goalkeeper? Got injured? It is. 81 for caps for Molly, 33 year old. So they brought in a goalkeeper. It looks pretty good for an 18 year old. Honduran. I'm seeing a lot of Honduran regions. I don't know what their like youth rating is, but I think they have some pretty good players. Good job, boys. Suarez. I'm always praising this guy because he's a little iffy. Neves. He's such a boss. Deserve the breather. Solis. Stop making mistakes, my guy. Man. Okay. Well... We've got two games, so I'm going to go ahead and play those, and then we'll be back for the second leg. All right, second leg time. Some goings on. We drew against Cartagines, rescued the goal from Mora, and then turned this one around. We were not playing good in the first half. Ended up grabbing two goals in the second half, but I played the backup goalkeeper for both of these games, and I think all three goals are his fault. So, Solis it is. Back to the Central America Cup semifinal against Montagua. Saprisa. Lost. 
to Herediano. Herediano turns it around 2-0, wins on penalties. So they make it to the final. Let's see if we can meet him, shall we? I'm going to play Jones. Solis is back in. All these yellows. Contreras is still coming back into fitness, but we're going to go ahead and play him. Cruz can come on the bench. My bench is all messed up. I mean, fitness levels are pretty good. It's tough when you have a game every two days, which continues after this, by the way, for the next, like, three or four games. So, I expect injuries and all that kind of stuff coming. Yep, forget about the first leg. Complete focus. Some people are probably going to get sent off. Or not sent off, but second or yellow card accumulation for the final, annoyingly. Actually, we might just do this. Don't pick up yellows. I mean, is it good that Saprisa lost? Maybe. We did beat Saprisa, what was it, 7 to 3, 7 to 2 last time we played him? Only played already on a once. Torres doing a little dribble on the outside of the box. Now, look at all the numbers we have. And Martinez scores his first goal of the season. The right back. It's 5 1 aggregate. I didn't even look if it was away goals or not. I'm not bothered. I'm not concerned. Although I am curious. It says third place. That's the final. It's the semifinal. It's like no wiggles. Gotcha. Decas, I recognize that name. Header forward. That's Solis is never going to save that. My confidence in his ability is just so low. All right, 5 2 aggregate. That's well, not. 5 3, it doesn't sound too good to me. That'd be pretty shocking. We've only lost one game, that Saprisa game, all year. Pretty shocking if we lost four to nothing, especially when Neves is gonna go ahead and pop up with a goal with his five finishing. It's a goal. Alohulan's a 6-2 aggregate. Yeah, I was never concerned. Never concerned. Especially if we grab another one. I mean, we're just so good. There's still positions I want to improve, too. Like, if we could get this uh, Jones guy in from Real Madrid, he's got a $2 million release clause. I doubt he'd want to come here. If we could get him back in on loan next year, we might look to move on one of our center backs. That's a really good ball in low down from Contreras. Salazar latches on the end of it. His 25th goal this season. 3-1 in the away leg. I think we're going to the final of the Central American Cup. And I think we might have a chance at the Champions Cup with this team. If we can keep things moving in the right direction, form and familiarity-wise. Might work out pretty well for us. No yellows. You love to see that. That's probably one of the best things. So we don't lose anybody for that first leg of the final. Still, we're only up five goals here, though, so I want to make sure that we close things out. There's just so much space. It's just like, pitch, just pick your pass. Totch just walks through. Off the post. Finds himself in that position a lot. I like it. He's really good. So we can give him some praise. 
I mean, it's seven to two. Okay, good job. Keep it up. Let's make some subs. Penuelas, I think, is on a yellow. So is David. I guess we can take David out. You know what? We might even do this. Hmm, it's actually probably a bad idea to have both of them in. Both of my left backs. Because I want him to learn the position. Um, all. But if they both pick up yellows in the second leg, then both of them would be out. So, yeah, David's going to come out for Hall. And what else do I want to change? Maybe Mora for Totch. Still learning this position, hates me for it. And it's probably it for now. Maybe Penuelos come out. For Villa Lobos, Villa Lobos. Maybe too early to be making three changes. This far post header, Solis just doesn't care. Just he's not too bothered, but he's he's very pura vida. If you know what I mean, he's a very pura vida goalkeeper. Sometimes things go all right, sometimes things don't. Yeah, you, know, you just you just go with the flow kind of deal. It's the kind of goalkeeper he is. It's not ideal. We're going to give him one back here. Crossed in, Pura Vida. Yeah, well, I, he knew it was going off the post. He was never bothered. Pura Vida. Just go ahead and go balanced. I can lose that stuff. Close it out, boys. We'll give him some praise. We'll make a sub. Probably Neves, honestly, can come out for Cruz. Is he the only guy I have left? Yeah, Cruz. He's the defensive midfielder who I started in that first game against Saprisa. He's really worked his way back into the team since. Because we're not playing with him. Deep line or playing this center midfielder, deep line playmaker kind of role instead. And I prefer the 16 year old Yara in that position, so he just gets no game time. He could potentially play right back, but his crossing isn't any good. And it looks like we're going to close this thing out. Um, I guess we can get. Let's actually get Suarez off for Gonzo. We're going to grab another one here. Might as well. Doesn't look like it. Well, this tournament has been not very... I mean, nobody's really given us a challenge outside of Saprisa in that first game. There's been a couple little results here and there where we just haven't played very well. Look at that. No yellows, though. You love to see it. We're on to the final of the Central American Cup, Liga. Good job. Did what we needed to do. Outscored them, even away from home. And you can see we're 10 points clear of Saprissa in the league. Punto Reynas is having a pretty good year. But Arediano is the team we will be facing in the mouth-watering Clásico Provincial Derby. Derby? It's an E. It's Derby. In Central American Cup Final. Uh, first game's at home, so it's home and away. And we can see, based on the schedule, that it's around the time that we're probably playing in 
the opening stage semifinals and potentially even the cup final if we beat Arediano in the semifinal here. So we're going to come back for sure for this game and probably whatever's around it. It might even be a triple header with the with the cup final if we make that and the semifinal of the opening stage. So it'll be split up into two, but we got to try and win this thing because that's our next objective. But thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know who your favorite player is on Liga Deportiva Alohuelense. We'll see you next time. Catch you later.